Hi guys, it's Chantel, and today I wanted to try this whole end of the year book tag. Um, I think it's kind of like a nice wrap up. Uh, when I looked at the questions, I was like, maybe I should have like done this a little while ago and not, you know, like pretty much beginning of December here, but oh well. To me, end of the year, it's not quite the end of the year yet, so I didn't want to do it right away. But anyway, I will leave a link to Ariel's video. She's the one that created this tag and you can kind of like go see the creator. Um, but we're going to dive into the questions because I thought it would be good to do a nice little wrap up. So number one is, are there any books you started this year that you need to finish? Now I try to not leave books too long, like either I'm still reading it or I've just like decided to be done reading it, but I'm currently reading two books that I'm not sure if I'm going to continue. I mean, okay, so let's talk about this first one is The Lost Queen. Um, I'm still 118 pages. It just really hasn't gripped me. It's kind of dragging. I'm not sure if I'm going to continue this one, so I'm not sure if it really answers this question, but if I'm going to continue it, I need to decide and like finish it ASAP. The other one, yeah, I do need to finish this one. This is Seven Men and Seven Women. This is like brief little um, biographies about seven men and seven women. It's brilliantly titled. Um, yeah, I don't know. I've only read the first one so far and it was about George Washington. It was interesting to me as a Canadian. I don't really know his story, but like it didn't really grip me and make me want to read the entire book. But there are some really interesting people in here that I know are coming up that I want to read about. So I would say these are two books that I've started that I would like to finish or decide if I'm not finishing before the end of the year. The next question is, do you have an autumnal book to transition into the end of the year? Like it's, it's full on winter here. So I, I changed this to a winter book to transition you. And I think I have two that might help. I mean, I don't know. I'm already there. Uh, I have to say like no exit was really good. I read that the week of a blizzard. We still have tons of that snow. I would definitely recommend that as a winter read. Um, but then I've got Winter House on a completely different note. This is a middle grade story. I think it's kind of like mystery about a big uh, hotel in, during winter. I'm really curious. I think it'll be a good winter read. The other one is, I don't think it's set in winter at all. It's Echo, Echoes Among the Stones, but Jimmy Jo writes writing. She writes suspense with some creepy elements, but like also hard hitting topics. And I, her writing just makes me feel chilly. So it feels really good for like autumn and winter. And so I think this will be a good one for this time of year as well. Next one is, is there a new release you're still waiting for? I don't think so. Um, prior to joining booktube, I didn't know when books were being released. I was pretty much reading mostly books from people that were already dead or yeah, I wasn't paying attention to that. The few books that I knew about that were coming out this year already have, um, but there are a couple that I'm looking forward to next year, so I'm excited about that. The next question is, what are three books you want to read before the end of the year? And I found three. Well, three-ish. The first one is The Killing Tide. I'm very curious about Danny Petri. Um, I know Oshina really likes her, and I have a feeling her suspense books are more the general romantic suspense just more like the norm for christian fiction but i'm curious about it i've never read any for writing um i want to give it a try to see if i would enjoy it uh yeah and i, I just really love the cover of this book i love like double exposure type stuff so this looks awesome and yeah totally judging a book by its cover i hope i like this one the next one that i want to read before the end of the year is the bear and the nightingale totally have to read this. There is a book club online here, Three Blondes in a Book. It's run by Three Blondes. Actually, they were blondes. They're not all blondes right now. Um, and I think their online book club is the 10th of December or something. So I would really like to read this like soon so that I can have read it before then and kind of join in on the live chat. I've never done anything like that. So I think it would be fun. This is a like Russian fantasy folk tale type story. Um, last time I tried to read it, got overwhelmed by all the V names, so I'm totally taking, gonna keep a character list. So yeah, I would like to read that one right away. And then the next one is actually two books. Um, I would like to finish the Farseer trilogy. 
Now, these books are not on my December TBR because I forgot about them when I was making it. So I would need to read these on top of all the books that I chose for that already. That might be difficult, I'm not sure. But I've got uh, Royal Assassin and Assassin's Quest. I don't remember which one goes in which order now. Um, I think this is two and this is three. I could be wrong. I'll try to read them in order. Um, yeah, I wasn't a huge fan of book one, but I got these like beautiful editions. And so I want to finish the series. And also because it seems like a very well-respected fantasy series, I guess, I want to have the knowledge and then put these down so I can start on Stormlight. The next one is, is there a book you think could still shock you and become your favorite book of the year? Yes, absolutely, because, because guys, because I have a Jamie Jo Wright on here. Uh, this could definitely become my favorite of the year. So far, one of her books is one of my favorites. I haven't, do I have to pick a favorite favorite? Because I have two books this year that are like my definite favorites of the year. But if I have to choose between one of them, like they're so different. Um, but anyway, her book is one of them. And so this is a definite possibility. This is her, she had one come out in September, I think. And then I think this is her newest before that. So I'm just, from what I've read of her so far, I feel like her writing gets better and better. So this could be, this could be number one. And the last question is, have you already started making reading plans for 2021? Um, have I? Yes. I have thought of two, at least two goals so far. Um, and I don't know if I want to read more or less in 2021. 2020 was a weird year and um, a lot of things didn't happen. So I read more. I have no idea how many books I've read already this year, probably 155 if I had to take a guess, but that's a lot of books. Um, so I'm trying to figure out what I want for 2021. Do I want to read more? Do I want to read the same amount? Do I want to make more videos? So many, so many options. I could, I could do other things other than read and make videos about reading too. Um, but I'm starting to make plans and I'm so excited for next year because I don't know, every year is a new adventure. You never know what you're gonna get when you go into the year, right? Right, 2020? Um, yeah, so that is my end of the year book tag. I'm excited for the end of the year and to see what 2021 holds. Thanks again for watching, guys.